Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. And sorry I didn't post a video yesterday because I wasn't feeling very good. But I do feel a little bit better today, and uh, I just decided to make a video. So you want to go to where the Christmas lights are after you talk to the um, the other guy that's blocking the door. And he says you need a membership card because this is Sam's Club, so... Ready to take on a little work? Yeah. Gee, I wish I could get a job that easily. <laughs> Oh my god, are you serious? Is that who I think it is? I don't know. Who could that be? Yes, it's Donkey Kong, and he's dead. He's a skeleton. Well, I don't think it's really Donkey Kong, because he says his name is Bink. So, obviously, it's not Donkey Kong. But it's in the exact same form as Donkey Kong. You would think it is, but it's not. He just says his name is Bink. So, I guess that's kind of a little added feature. You know, like a little teaser or something, I don't know. But anyways, he wants us to do this little mini game right here by moving barrels, and it can actually be a little, uh, a little confusing and hard because uh, the way you have to do it is just uh, so confusing, especially on a keyboard. Well, not that it's confusing. You you pretty much know what you have to do. You have to line up all these barrels with the colors that correspond. So you have to get one whole row of red or one whole row of uh, of blue. But um, to actually get it that way can actually be a little confusing. And you have more than enough time, I think, um, to get 10 points, which is basically 10 rows or columns. And uh, it's basically, you just have to move up and down, left and right, find a way to make them, you know, collide with each other. And, uh, you know, make make points like that. And you want to do it as fast as you can, kind of had a plan ready already. So, uh, it won't take too much time. I already have four points. And I have 90 seconds, so I guess it's not too bad. Could be doing a little better, I don't know. But, uh, it can be a little confusing and hard the first time. But that's why he has the explain option once he asks you, so. But, uh, it's pretty obvious what you have to do. It's not too bad, I already have six points. Um, but actually, to be honest, I actually, uh, practiced this on my practice file, and I did pretty bad, actually. I got to, like, 30 seconds, I only had, like, 3 points, uh, because, um, it's a little confusing to play this on the keyboard, because the way you have to do it is, you have to, uh, hold the A button first, and then push the directional button. It's kind of weird, and awkward, it feels awkward to play it that way, but, uh, but that's how it's done on the keyboard, and... I already got used to it, that's why um, I'm doing it, doing good right now, because I actually started recording um, before this and tried it, but then I was doing terrible, I'm like, no way, I'm not going to keep that in. That would be too much of a waste of time for me to fail and try again, so. Yeah, and then we got these yellow barrels, which is pretty much the same thing, I think. Except they give you more points. Uh... Yeah, if you line up, if you line them up with a red and blue, I think they give you more points. Actually, I'm not totally sure because there's still not enough yellows to make a row or a column, so it wouldn't make sense. Herm, herm, you stop right there. Oh ho ho! Why does everybody say ho in this game? Seriously, it's like ho ho ho. That doesn't make sense. Thank you for your hard work, but we can't pay you with cash, so we'll just give you a membership card. Yeah, if my job gave me that for working one whole day. Just gave me a membership card. I would so quit that day. <laughs> I think I would. I don't know. But, you know, I mean, that's not really a job what Mario and Luigi did. I guess it's like voluntary work, but... Uh, what the hell did I just do? I just went in a whole circle. What the hell? We have to go down here. That was such a waste of time. We go over here, back to where the... this guy is. And, la Look at the membership card in its glory! It's so golden and orange, and it's so pretty. Yay. Okay, now we can pass. You see all these little pink things on shelves? And there's the bean star. He has it on top of his head. Whoa, was that? You say the sparkly thing is a piece of the bean star? Yes, it is. And you say the two came here looking for it? Yup. Hmm, really? You want this thing? Well, I guess I could give it to you, but I gotta tell you, this thing busted our hatch. I can't just give it to you for free. Of course, nothing is for free in this game. Or any game, for that matter. Jeez. 
got blowed off his ass, huh? <laughs> Blow that's such a weird name. Yeah, Bloat is the name of that fish from Finding Nemo. I feel so weird that I remember that actually. Well Yeah. Yay for Disney movies, which I don't really watch anymore. Maybe every once in a while, but uh you know. I watch more action type movies now, so yeah, this guy is totally drunk on Chocola Cola, and yeah. So we need to look for dynamite, which is right here, and this piece of wood wasn't here before, and unfortunately it's here now when you come back for it, so that's kind of weird. It's like somebody put it there when we were downstairs, and they're like, okay, let's put the dynamite here before he sees us, you know, so it's kind of weird. I never was there before because I just went there earlier and it wasn't there, so. So what you want to do is light this uh, fuse on fire and it blows up and he's out and he looks like a big baby, actually. And he starts saying ho 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 again. Like I said, everybody says ho. And the Chocola Cola starts bursting out. Oh my god. Wow, that looks cool. It looks like gold, actually. Wow. Whoa, and the boat comes out of place. And, oh, we're setting sail again. Blah, what's going on here? C -c Captain, it's the ocean. It's an actual ocean. Oh, is this SS Chocola finally afloat once more? Yep. And you guys are doomed. Well, actually, we're doomed because we're on the boat, too, so. Oh, what is that in the background? It looks like a bunch of boxes stacked upon each other. And it sunk so fast. That was the fastest sinking I've ever seen in the history of the lifetime. Because I don't think even the Titanic sunk that fast. And there's the Bean Star piece floating happily along the sea bottom. So yeah, you recognize this area, don't you? We actually went here earlier in the LP. Um, before going into Bean Bean Airport, and we went through here. But now the boat's in the way, so... That's the only difference. And, of course, we're going to go through the top now. Because we came from the bottom. Now we're gonna go through a top, and it's gonna be a totally new, di different area. So, seabed near SS Chocola. Okay, so let's walk across here, and then they're pretty much um, giving it away what you have to do. You just got to follow the bean star piece. Pretty much tells you where you have to go. So, and of course the bean star can cross over the gate, but we can't. Because, you know, the Bean Star is special and we're not. But, uh, what you want to do is go all the way over here. Across these platforms without falling like I just did. Jeez. Yeah, these bloopers are quite pretty annoying. Because they keep jumping up and down. Or swimming. They're not really jumping. But, uh... Yeah, once you swim across here, you're going to find this little torch thing right here. Light it with fire. Well, don't burn Luigi. Jeez, you're burning his face, man. Right in the face, right? You're like burning his nose off. <laughs> okay, and that opens the gate, so let's go over there now. Trying to avoid these bloopers here. Me and my big mouth. I'm actually gonna keep this in, so. I'm not gonna waste any time. Besides, I don't think it's that much of an ocean area this time. It's not like last time where you have to go through. Um, the, the other areas with the. Um. What was it again? Uh, the the jellyfish and all that, and lighting the torches in order. I don't think we have to do that this time. It's pretty much uh, a short walk on the ocean bottom this time. Just light this torch right here and go through the gate, and uh, I think there's only one more room after that. That's it. If I'm not mistaken, so. Super syrup. Awesome. Wow, that was close. Okay, so. Oh, whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, whoa, 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 that was freaking close, man. <laughs> and Mario's just swimming under Luigi's like, Ah, help me, brother, help me. Help me. Yeah. Man, these guys swim so weird. They're like flapping their arms like they're, they're birds or something. They're like, yeah, I believe we can fly. Or I believe we can swim. Yeah, because you're not flying, so. Yeah, why do you guys have to flap your arms like that? I don't, if I flap my arms like that in water, I wouldn't be able to swim like that. Definitely not, but... Yeah, I'm gonna keep this in. <laughs> Besides, I'm I have like a minute left, so it's not a big deal, really. 
Yeah, when is Luigi gonna learn the advanced move for uh, Knockback Brothers? I've been using it so many times, and he hasn't even learned it yet, so... I'm actually kind of curious about that now. I guess you just gotta, you know, keep using it over and over again, like, a trillion times. Not like that's possible, but, uh... Wow, I actually thought I was a father, jeez. Okay, we actually made it without failing. Okay, so we got this new enemy, it's a starfish. It can be quite annoying, but, uh... I think they're easy to dodge and avoid. So we got a Hoobin right here, and, uh... I think I'm gonna... Oh, crap. You know what? I'm gonna stop the video here, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Don't kiss me!